So the big challenges with, with gonorrhea is the emergence of antimicrobial resistance. So if you go back uh, to the, the 1930s, uh, up until now there were seven preferred treatment options and for all of these options uh, antimicrobial resistance has occurred uh, sooner or later. And at this moment we are at the last resort medication and already reports of uh, treatment failure also for this uh, option uh, have been published. And we do not know next what to, uh, to give patients with gonorrhea. Uh, and that's the reason why a lot of research is now focused on uh, new options uh, to treat gonorrhea to, make a, to keep it a treatable infection for the future. Uh, my plans and hopes for this trial uh, uh, is that we can recruit uh, the required number of patients uh, in, a, in, a, in a short amount of time uh, and uh, uh, comply with uh, the protocol. Uh, we had an investigator uh, initiating visit today uh, uh, and it was stressed again the importance of really uh, 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 comply to the protocol because it's a multi-center trial and you want to have comparable data coming from all the different sites. Uh, so uh, it's very important uh, that you do the same as in all the, all the other sites. So hopefully within one year uh, we have gathered all the required data and uh, we can come up with an answer uh, what the role of soliflodacin will be in the uh, future treatment of gonorrhea.